Hello, people, and welcome back to Setup Tech. I um, discovered something a little bit in it between the episodes here because I need to uh, I want to make sure I get some more Hellfire dust. And I thought about like, well, what if you uh, break it before it explodes? And um, so far, that actually works. So if um, let's see here. I'm going to do it over here anyway, just in case. But if you... Uh, put the soul sand in. Whoops. And then you take... Uh, let's see, here's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven. The eighth one will break it. But if you break the hopper and then just place it down again, put your soul sand in, you can get seven more. So you don't have to keep blowing them up and exploding them. Well, it's not ideal, but it's better than wasting them. I, I didn't think about that before. I could have done that instead of building all those hoppers. But anyway, there you go. There's a little trick I discovered in between episodes and think it should show you. So let's keep moving forward. We have to make um, uh, the, the stoked uh, kiln. In the kiln, we need bricks. We need these bricks. And these bricks are made from four bricks. And then the four bricks can be poured out. We're obviously making the kiln we don't have yet, but it can be in the stone mill. Or we can make them with one piece of clay one at a time through the kiln. But this to me looks easier. Take blocks of clay, bake them, turn them terracotta, and then just grind them into, into bricks. So um, I might have already compressed some clay. Oh, look, there we go. So if we take, um, so we're going to need, what, one, two, three, four, five? I think I already have four burnt up. So we'll take four of these, and we'll cook them up in an oven right here. And then we'll get those to terracotta. Let's see what else we have to do here. Uh, we have also... From the last time I dealt with this mod, back in age one, I have some gearboxes and axles already made up, ready to go. We'll put this back there for now. We don't need all this stuff here. Ah, oh, string. I, I hate that string every time you break open a piece of dirt. Um, staff redstone. I'm not too sure if I need that right now, so we'll put that back. Make yourself a little bit of room. The sun is setting, so let's just go ahead and take a nap. Clear it up out there. And that way, uh, don't have to worry about it. So, we have to mechanically hook the bellows up to blow on the hibachi, and the hibachi needs a redstone signal, so we'll have to make some levers as well. I'm going to run everything off this gear um, because it's the easiest one that's exposed right now. And I'll put the... I'll get rid of this, and I'll put the cauldron there and then move the turntable somewhere else. Let's see here. Um, we need these. We need shafts. So three shafts coming out. A space. We're gonna need a. I guess that's. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's. It'll work. So then we need to put one of these. On there, and then with the open hand. 
you click on it and you can spin it or shift click and then you spin it and now it's working when the smoke's coming out of it that means the gearbox is active and working okay, the, the opening with the arrows has got to be where the shaft goes is going into it so like it's going into this one there and it'd be going into well, that's it this one here so now we can come out of this one with shafts as well and um let's see here uh the bellows we're gonna have to have a gap there the bocce is gonna have to be oh wow look at that huh the the hibachi has to be one f underneath so it has to be a gap so the hibachi is going to have to go down on that level right there and the bellows is going to have to blow onto the flame which will be right here so the bellows is going to go here i guess i could just put it here so we know so the bellows can go here like that and I'm guessing that's going to be where it blows out of. And then we need to put a gearbox here. But we need this one to be taking it in. So open hand. There you go. So this gearbox driving this gearbox, it should drive this bellows. And so this is going to need a, a timer on it as well. This, this gearbox right here will need a timer. I'm guessing. And then the hibachi. Do I have one on me? Yes, I do. Huh, I have to find the other one. I wonder if I let it... Left it sitting somewhere. So the bocce will go there. And then we just have to give it a... a signal, which I'm going to put cobblestone in here just for purposes so it will need a signal here to blow up and then this is going to need a signal we'll put a cobblestone in here as well just so it's not as easily blown up. And basically the the timer, it bothers me that I don't know where that other hibachi is. Or bellows for that matter. Oh, here they are. Okay. So, brick. Uh, whoops, ran around the wrong way. All right, so we have the terracotta, and then we throw the terracotta in the grinder. And that will grind in the bricks, which I already did one just to test it out. Okay, so, and then that will make, we need five, five bricks to make um, this oven thing that we're going to do. If we, um, I guess we have to do the switch on that side. So if we take this away and take away the turntable, this is going lower than it needs to go. Where is that coming in from? It must be coming in from over here. Oh well. Uh, grinder. 
get our bricks made. All right. So now if we just put these together like this, should be the five bricks. And these five bricks will go um, just need to put this here. This is in this torch is in the way. We'll fix that in a second here. And then this goes there. And there. So it's here, there, and then in the back. So that should be the kiln. And then it's going to heat this brick up, superheat it with uh, the hibachi. So we need uh, two levers, oh, which is just sticking cobblestone still, right? Yep. Okay. So, oh wow, I got so much dirt. Um, there we go. So there's the hibachi. Um, now with the bellows, see if I do a signal, it blows it up and then blows it down. Then that gives the blue flame, which is superheated. So basically we need to make a timer so it keeps basically doing this. The signal keeps running over and over again and keeps the blue flame super hot. Right? Right. Easily said, right? Now we need to complete it. So we need to make two timers and maybe get rid of some of this stuff out of here. What's going on? Um, for one, get rid of the turntable. Put that in storage. And get rid of these stupid strings. What else we have here? Uh, we have way too much dirt. I'll put that over here just so. Um, same thing with this brick. We'll use that for decorative later. I know I have something here somewhere. Wow. There, this, there's the brick. Let's get rid of planking and buttons in here as well. It's got a lot of stuff we just don't need right now. Okay, so timer. It's redstone timer here. I don't know what block placer and redstone. Huh, I don't know. I never. That one just seems really complicated. Let's just do this one. It's the old dark utilities one. We just need a um, stone, redstone torches, and a clock. Clock is just gold and lapis, which I have. So let's make two of these clocks. Get the lapis out of there. Gold out of here. Um... Make two of these. Well, should have just did two of them, but oh well. Oops. Come on. All right. Okay. Oh, they do stack. Whew, good. I'll put the gold back so we don't have to uh, worry about space. Okay. Um, redstone. We need eight torches. I'm assuming that it's still just the same vanilla. Yep, that works. Put 
that back. Limited space. And stone. Do I have stone on me still? Yes. And I have... I need... Whoa, wrong one. I need eight, so I have enough. Okay. So this should work out really good. All right. Two timers. So now... What this timer will do, and basically I'm I'm changing this gearbox to work and not work is what is what I'm theoretically doing. So I put the timer down. Uh, right click on it. this is the, you can set the delay. We're just gonna leave it at a, at a hundred. Right now it's default and see it flashing, and it should. Oh, it is working. Okay. So you can leave it up next to it. I thought you might have to make a redstone dust signal, but uh So 100 is um looks like it's too much time in between cuz the blue flame goes out before it clicks in again, which is something we don't want. So let's say, let's try 50. Does it more often? That seems to do it. Yeah, it seems to be a little bit more time. It looks like this is on a timed thing itself. And basically just getting the signal to kick when this thing comes up. Um, I don't know what it is. But since this is going every 50 ticks, it does it. As long as it stays blue, I'm okay with it. All right. That works. So let's see if we can get the... Um, the cauldron. Um, we're gonna have to make a cauldron, right? Let's get some uh, clay. Oops. Unfired bowl. Yeah, so need some clay. Five of those. bowl put it in the kiln here then that'll give us a cauldron and basically we're going to we're going to do the same thing as we did here i'm just going to knock this stuff out So we can put the cauldron right here on the top. So we're gonna do the hibachi in the same place. And we're gonna put the, I did it one more down, didn't I? Put the timer down one more. Or the, not the timer, but the, the lever here. So what we need to do here is we need to raise this up one, which I'm not sure what's going on underneath here, but we're gonna find out. Okay, so this one's lower by one. So I'm gonna have to lower or raise everything up, which I really don't, really don't want to do that, I guess. Let's see here. If I wanna raise this all up, 
that to make a whole craziness. So let's just, just do, <laughs> let's just lower this by one. There we go. Marble's good enough. Um, the Apache there. Lever here. Do it from this side. And then we're going to put the cauldron down one into the ground just so we don't have to screw around with this. So the bellows goes here. We're going to need a, a little freeze in here. Uh, the clock is going to go there. Bellows is going to go here, facing this direction. And then put a shaft in it. And then we're going to control this with the timer. And we're going to make it 50. And then now this thing should, this abacha should be turning blue as well and staying blue. All right. Just need to grab the cauldron. That's weird. What am I on fire? Maybe I may have burnt myself on the hibachi. So. That's weird. Huh. I guess I did burn myself running across it, maybe. So. The hibachi. Needs to go. Or the cauldron needs to go here. And that should the way to test it is here. Do we get potash? I don't know. That seems a little bit weird. Because it's definitely stoked. Unless it has to be the nine by nine stoked one, maybe? I guess we should see if this is even working. But that should, I, I don't know if the name changes, but it should be, um, shouldn't it be, oh, that doesn't work. Let me get a, some planks here. So maybe you got to, maybe it's planks. Because right now, then this is just, oh, there we go. Potash. Okay, so it is, it is a, uh, it just wasn't showing any, um, any activity there. So that should go to potash as well. Okay, so it's working. We're good. Well, that was a uh, super cool and um, great episode. We did the hibachi and we uh, made the stoked kiln and the stoked um, cauldron and the bellows. We did the bellows as well. Well, I guess we made those last episode, but we got the all the mechanical stuff hooked up. It's kind of messy, but it works. I'll cover all this stuff up. To make it look a little bit better or just so I won't fall into it well thanks for uh, hanging out with me I uh, hope you enjoyed this video I enjoyed making it and on that note thanks for watching and until next time good day